For 3,000 years, Egypt's Great Pyramid was the tallest structure in the world, gleaming white in the desert sun. It was built 4,500 years ago with only manual labor and simple tools to craft and move some 2.3 million stones, most weigh more than two tons. But how did they do it? There are several theories, each with their own problems. Was a single giant ramp built extending half a mile or more into the desert? The material alone would be more than what was used in the pyramid itself. Maybe a shorter ramp was built a third of the way up. With external spiral ramps stuck to the sides of the pyramid the rest of the way to the top. The problem with this idea is that the 52 degree slope of the pyramid would not support external ramps of rubble. They would simply collapse and slide off the slick white capstones. A more plausible method would be to use inset ramps that use the stone blocks of the pyramid itself as the base support for the ramps. Here's how it was done. On a perfectly leveled bedrock foundation, the first perimeter square of fine white outer capstones is laid down all around. A gap is left for access to the interior. The first ring of the first layer of finely cut limestone blocks is laid down behind the capstones. A second ring, right behind the first, is set in and then a third inner ring is laid down. Rough cut blocks, rubble, and mortar fill in the vast interior of the first layer. The last fine cut blocks complete layer one, leaving a gap in the capstones for the beginnings of an inset ramp. A debris ramp with a 10% grade is made giving access to the start of level two, which begins at the far corner from the ramp with the first white cap stones. The stones are carefully fitted and aligned to form a smooth outer surface. With the second layer of capstones placed all around, a second layer of fine cut blocks is laid in, leaving a gap to fill in the central core with rough material. Remaining blocks are filled in, leaving a gap for the ramp to be extended to the third level. For level three, the process is repeated with outer capstone set from the far corner back to the ramp, and the cut blocks and rough stones filling in behind. The ramp extends to the next level and is about 11 feet wide. With each new level, the ramp is extended up the side of the pyramid until it reaches the corner, where a wider flat area is left for turning. Levels of capstone, fine cut blocks, and rough interior stones are added as the inset ramp continues up the next face, turning the corners again and again until the builders reach the top, finally crowning the pyramid with a golden pinnacle. All that's left now is to backfill the ramps from the top all the way down as if they never existed. The inset ramp requires no wasted time and materials, like the external ramps would have. The inset ramp allowed the pharaohs to build the pyramids faster and cheaper, like a modern builder would do.